Hello everyone and welcome to today's story time. Today is Monday, May the 4th, Star Wars Day. It is also International Firefighter Day. So today we will be reading Peanut Meets the Pigtailed Firefighter. It is written by Shelley Varela, illustrated by Jose Gascon. Peanut's a sweet girl, you'll often hear say. I want to be a princess one day. She loves sparkles and dresses and fairies with wings and princes and castles and magical things. The stories that Peanut reads day after day says princes take all of your troubles away. Each day Peanut asks her magical fairy to find her a handsome prince she can marry. A strong prince, thinks Peanut, can save me from harm and battle my fears with his bravery and charm. Peanut's most happy when she is at school. Her teacher is smart and makes learning so cool. Tomorrow, said teacher, is a wonderful treat. We've got lots of interesting guests you will meet. They're coming to visit, especially for you, to tell all about the jobs that they do. There are doctors and lawyers, an astronaut too, an artist, a soldier, a man from the zoo. And a special surprise from some very brave guests. This might be the job that some of you will like best. The next day the kids couldn't believe their eyes. They cheered when they saw their amazing surprise. A fire truck came with its sirens and lights. It sparkled and glistened all shiny and bright. The firemen all looked so big and so strong, but one of them seemed like he didn't belong. One fireman, thought Peanut, has shiny red nails and lip gloss, earrings, and a curly pigtail. Standing next to the others, he seems sort of small, cause that fireman is not a fireman at all. She isn't a boy, sang Peanut with glee. That brave firefighter's a girl just like me. She's pretty and strong, saves people from harm, rushes to fire when she hears the alarm. The young firefighter went on to tell the class that girls can be firefighters as well. There is nothing you think of that you cannot do. Believe in your dreams and they're sure to come true. Peanut asks shyly, when did you know that you would save people wherever you go? The firefighter said, I was a young girl like you. My parents said there is nothing I could not do. She told Peanut she gets to help others each day and make sure she keeps people out of harm's way. I don't need a prince after all, Peanut thought, feeling proud of all the new things that she had been taught. Maybe, thought Peanut, I don't need to be saved. Since I can do anything, I can be brave. When Peanut got home, she was happy to tell her parents that girls can be firemen as well. They're called firefighters cause they have to be since you could be saved by a girl just like me. Her mom and her dad chimed, it's all very true. There's nothing you dream of that you cannot do. While princes and fairies were all that you knew, there are many amazing things that you can be too. Peanut was really excited to know that she could help people wherever she goes. That night, Peanut slept with a feeling of pride knowing there's nothing she couldn't do if she tried. <laughs>